What up, friends? Welcome back to Homenastics. Hmm. We took the day off yesterday, but we're happy to be back and grooving with you. Hey friends, welcome to Home Nastics. It's cartwheel and round off day. Good to see you again. We missed you. We're going to gather our gear for today's class. You're going to need a couple of chairs, maybe an ottoman. I hope you got a jump rope, because that's going to be our warm up today. If you don't, go grab it, bring it along. You're also going to need a stack of books and maybe some masking tape. Welcome, friends. Home Nastics. Cartwheel and round off day. Grab some chairs, grab an ottoman, grab some books, grab some masking tape. We're going to start off with a jump rope. So if you've got one, go get it. Oh, missed you. Glad to be back. Uh. We're going to wrap it up here, friends. Get started. Make sure you got all your stuff, because we're getting ready to go. Come on now. Uh, uh. Welcome, friends, to Home Nastics Cartwheel and Round Off Day. I'm your host, Coach Tony. I'm with Ninja Muggy Jim. You can find me on Facebook, you can find me on YouTube, you can find me on Instagram, at Ninja Monkey Gym. Come say hi. As always, we're hosted by the lovely Gemini Gymnastics Academy just outside of LaGrange, where it is snowing. What? That's not okay, Chicago. Not okay. It is April. No snow. That's the deal. That's how this works. Okay? As always, so thrilled to be working with Tumble Track. It is our goal between Ninja Muggy Gym, Gemini Gymnastics, and Tumble Track to bring you fun, engaging, safe activities to do at home so you can stay safe in this weird, wild, and wacky time. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Let's get right down to it. As always, we do a warm up, we do some strength, we do some handstands, and we do some skills. So I got my badge band on. I'm ready to get to work. Let's start with our warm up today. We're going to get our jump rope out. And I've got my mat out. Inside this mat, I've got four different sections. Now, if you don't have a mat, that's totally fine. Just find four sections on your floor that are side by side, either on your carpet or the ground. It's up to you. That's totally fine. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 10 jumps in each of these four sections. Okay? So I'm going to try and go 10 jumps in a row. Make sure you've got a lot of space around you that you're not going to bonk a mat or, you know, a sibling. Eek! Okay? If you need to do this warm up outside, well then save it until you're outside. Um, and for now, you can just do 10 jumps in each place. And then once you actually get your jump rope and you're safe outside, then you can do it there. Okay. Let's do it. You ready? Okay, 10 jumps, 10 jumps, 10 jumps. We're going to move sideways through it. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do them in a row. And, oh no, bad start. We're off to a bad start. Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's go back. Oh, uh, 1, oh, no. 
Let's try it. Here we go. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Super good warm up. If you're looking for a more of an exercise, try doing it backwards. One, two, it's really tricky. All right, now that our muscles are all warm, loosey goosey, let's go to our strength challenge. Now, today's strength challenge is really challenging, actually. It's called a V up. A V up is where I lift my legs and my arms at the same time and try to touch them at the top. Okay? So, since that's kind of challenging, what would be awesome is if I maybe separate it out. Maybe I'll try to lift my legs, then I'll try to lift my arms, and then I'll try to lift both. Okay? Just to really make sure that I understand how to lift my legs, how to lift my arms, and then how to lift them together. So we're going to try each of those things, and we're going to do five for each of them. All right? When I'm trying to figure out how to lift my legs, it's best if I hold on to something. So maybe I'll hold on to the legs of this chair. Yeah. Let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to lay down. I'm going to try and lift my legs up and try and touch them to the chair while I'm laying flat on my back. And what I can do to really help myself with this is I can put my hands under the chair or the couch, or I can grab the foot. I'm going to lift my legs all the way up and try and touch. Yeah? OK, let's have you try it, too. Why don't you do it with me? I'm going to put my hands underneath the, the bottom of the chair. I'm going to try and touch my feet to here. We're going to do five. I want to see if I can keep my legs super squeezy, super tight. You ready? Let's go. One. Very good. Two. Excellent. Three. Last one after this. There's four. And here we go. Here's the last one. And five. Excellent. Did you do it? Did you keep your legs super straight? You know what? Let's do one more set. We're going to do this one more set, and I want you to really think about, are your legs together, and are they straight? OK? Let's try it one more time. This is actually the hard part of a VF. The arms and the chest, not so much. But the legs, they're super important. So let's do it again. Ready? And one, yes, two, good, three. Do you see how I'm going down slow? Yeah. Four. Can you do that too? No noise, no flopping. Five. Woo! Excellent. OK, now to figure out how to do my arms and my shoulders off the ground, I'm going to lay down. I'm going to put my feet up to the ceiling and put my arms up. Now I'm going to try and raise them up and touch my ankles. Yeah? Just like this. Bink. Make sense? Pretty simple, right? Let's try to do five. Everybody put your feet to the ceiling. And let's do five, where we raise our arms all the way up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. How'd you do? Pretty good? Can we move on? Let's do it. OK, I'm going to get my mat back out. You don't have a mat. That's fine. This one's awesome, though. Look at all the fun colors. Kind of looks like a watermelon, doesn't it? Oh, we actually had this mat specially made because these are all the colors of Gemini. Do you see them? Yeah, man. You can have it made specially just for you, too. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine my leg lift and my shoulders and my arms raising. Now, the best is if I can do this at the same time. Instead of doing one leg, or uh, instead of doing my legs and then my arms, I want to do them both at the same time. So let's try. Ready? Up. Whoa. Did you do it? Good. Let's do five. Legs and arms at the same time. Here we go. Ready? And one. Four, five, woo! Oh, 
those are really challenging. If they are really difficult for you, then you can practice those shoulder raises and the leg lifts independently until you feel really strong that you can do them both at the same time. The same time is the goal. All right, that was pretty good. A good strength challenge today. V-ups are probably one of the best core exercises you can do. Ooh, definitely gave myself a strength badge for that one. When I do a V-up, I'm working all of my abs right down the middle. That's pretty good. That's a lot of muscles to be getting in one exercise. Excellent. Ooh, really good for your kips. If you want to learn a kip, you have to have an awesome V-up. All right, enough V-ups. It's time for handstands. Now today, it's cartwheel and round off day. So we're going to do our handstands in a way that really helps us with our cartwheels and our round offs. So let's go for a trip over to the wall. Are you ready? All right, here we go. We're coming down. All right. Can you see me? I think you're a little close. Maybe you got to scoot back a little bit. Oops, really close now. Whoa. Oh, that's better. Excellent. Okay, we're actually going to stay here for a little while because we're going to do round offs today, too. And when we do our round offs, we're actually just going to focus on the hurdle. We're going to get to that later. But I just want to let you know, we're going to stay like this. So, if you have a, a wall in your house that's nice and strong, yeah, that doesn't have anything on it that's going to get hurt or that is going to hurt you, go find that wall now because we're going to be here for a few minutes. Okay? All right. Also, if you've got any other things that are close to it, yeah, like these chairs, let's get them out of the way too because we don't want to fall on them. That's not going to feel good. All right. Now for our handstands today, our challenge is that we're going to cartwheel into our handstand. So I've got this nice big piece of wall. I'm actually going to turn this a little bit like that. Okay. I got this nice big piece of wall, and I want to see if I can figure out how to take my monkey, make it face the wall, and I want to cartwheel into my handstand. So I'm going to put my hands on the ground here, and my feet are going to go oop until they're right on top of my hands up here. Pretty cool, right? Okay, watch. Don't do. Just watch. All right, check it out. I'm going to go. Leaning lunge, lift my back foot up, cartwheel, stop in my handstand. Pretty good, huh? Then I can cartwheel out of it. Yeah, let's try it. We're going to do three of them. Now, on the way down, let's practice the other side of our cartwheel. All right, there's an opportunity here to make sure that we get two levers two levers in our cartwheel, right? Do you remember levers? We do levers all the time in handstands. Well, we should do them in our cartwheel too. A lever is where we pick our foot up and we try to make a straight line between our wrist and, our, and the heel of our foot, okay? So we're gonna try and lever in, handstand, stop. Then we're gonna try and lever out. Are you ready? Let's try it, here we go. Leaning lunge, lever in, Handstand, stop. Now we're gonna lever out, whoop, and then stand. Huh, I need to practice my lever outs. I'm leaning on the wall a lot. Okay, let's do two more. You try it at your own pace. I'm gonna practice mine and try and focus on that second lever. Okay, make sure you stop in the handstand. That's what we're practicing, the handstand. Here we go, ready? Leaning lunge, lever, handstand, stop. Lever out and stand. Oh, that was better. That was better for me. Let's do it again. Here we go. Ready? Leaning lunge, lever, 
Handstand. Lever out. Stand. That one was super good for me. Yeah? This is a great thing to practice. You can do a whole bunch of these and just get better and better and better. They're really good if you're a competitive gymnast for your beam dismount. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. But just reminding you, cartwheel to handstand is a really good skill. Now that we've practiced it against the wall, let's try it on the ground a few times. Yeah? Why not? I'm going to face this way. All right? I'm going to try and lever in and handstand. Now, the best version of this, you either, either finish the cartwheel with a lever or you step down forward with a lever. What's the same about both of those finishes? Do you know? That's right. They both have levers. Make sure that you finish this exercise with a lever. Okay? All right, so I'm going to go handstand and lever. All right, here we go. Lever, handstand, whoop, lever. You see, I didn't hold my handstand very long, huh? Let's try again. Ready? Lever, handstand, lever. Uh, still not very long. Let's try again. Whew, gotta really focus. Make sure my feet go right over my head. Lever, handstand. Whoa, that's better. Lever, finish. Oh, that was a good one for me. I like my last one. Okay, this is a great thing you can practice all week. All right, and then maybe next week you could show us. If you got a good one now, take a picture of it. Send it to us. We'd like to see it. All right. That was our handstand training for the day. Now, it's time for our skills. Are you ready? Excellent. Now, we're going to focus on a hurdle. All right? A hurdle is the thing you do before a cartwheel or a round off or a front handspring. All right? Now, we're going to focus on an athletic hurdle today. All right, there's a couple different ways to hurdle. The one that we're going to do today is really about generating the most power you can for a strong, athletic, aggressive kick into your round off or cartwheel or front handspring or front handspring step out, whatever. Okay, so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to focus on our entry shape. Now, our entry shape at the end of our hurdle actually incorporates our turtle back. Remember this? Everybody, pretend that you're putting on a backpack. Whoop, whoop, and make your back round like you have a turtle shell on. You see it? Back here? Nice and round, right? Okay, so we're going to make that shape. But we're going to keep our chin and our chest up, and we're going to shrug. Whoop, like this. Okay? Now, let's make that shape with our hands against the wall, like this. You see how there's a little bit of space? I'm kind of leaning into it. Now I'm going to shrug and put my turtle back on. Excellent. Let's hold that shape for five seconds. OK? Hands against the wall. Shrug and cover your ears with your turtle back on. All right, let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Okay, now everybody stand super tall and lift your knee up to your belly button or just below your monkey. So you're standing on one leg. Can you do it? You can hold the wall if you need to. Good job. Okay, now hold your knee up and bend your standing leg a little bit. Pretty good, huh? Both my knees are bent. Do you see it? Good job. OK, now we're going to add our position against the wall to the standing leg that's a little bit bent and the knee that's a little bit raised. So it looks like this. Don't do it yet. Just watch it. OK, I put my hands against the wall. I shrug. I put my turtle back on. I lift my knee. I bend my knee. Kind of weird, right? I call this the flying turtle. 
Some people call this the coil or the L7. There's a whole bunch of names for it. But me, I like flying turtle. Because you got your turtle back on. And when we do it for realsies, you're going to be flying through the air. OK? So let's try it. We're going to put our arms up. We're going to shrug. We're going to lift our knee up. We're going to bend our standing knee. And we're going to put our hands against the wall and turtle back. Excellent. Now, you know you've got this if you can make the shape and fall against the wall. What? Huh? OK, let me show you. It makes more sense when you see it. I promise. OK, let's try it. Check it out. I go shrug, turtle back, one knee up, standing knee. Now I'm just going to fall. Oh. If I can fall against the wall and my shape doesn't change, so I don't go like this. OK? If I can fall against the wall and stay in the same shape, whoop, boom. You know you're engaged in your body. And you know you've got the shape right. OK? So let's do three falls. And let's see if we can stay in the same shape the entire time. OK? Let's try it. Arms up, shrugged, turtle back on. Bent knee, other knee up, fall. One. Pretty good. Let's do it again. Shrug, turtle back on, bent knee, other knee bent. Two. Yeah. Last one. Here we go. Arms up. Shrugged, turtle back on, knees bent. Three. Super good. OK. What's this weird thing have to do with round off? <gasps> I'm so glad you asked. What we're going to try and do is make that shape in a skip. OK? So let's go back over there and practice this shape in a skip. Are you ready? <gasps> Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All right. Everybody landed safely? You're kind of crooked, aren't you? Hmm. I don't know if I can fix that. Let's try. Are you still crooked? Maybe. Ah, close enough. OK. We got to get back to hurdles. Here we go. OK, can everybody skip? Pretty good, huh? Let me get these chairs out of the way, because I got to skip some more. Skip, 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 step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. Excellent. Now, what we're going to do for a passing hurdle, which is our athletic hurdle, is we're going to do a skip. We're going to do a step, hop, but on our less dominant legs. OK? So what that means is I'm going to take this mat and scoot it back. I'm a righty. But I think this image is reversed. So don't worry about my right and my left. Okay? So I'm going to take my right leg, which is my dominant leg, and I'm going to put it behind me. Whoop. Yeah, there it goes. Now I'm going to skip on my left, or I'm going to skip on my non-dominant leg, and I'm going to take my dominant leg and put it up to my monkey and make my flying turtle shape. Watch. Don't do. Just watch. OK? Check it out. Hands back, dominant leg back, less dominant leg forward. Good leg back, bad leg forward. Skip, finish. Whoa. I kind of fell a little bit. Let's try again. Bad leg forward, good leg back, hands back. Skip, boom. Do you see that weird shape that I was making on the wall? Let me do it a little bit closer so you can see it even better. Bad leg forward, good leg back, hands back. Whoop. You see it? Last time, do it with me, OK? Let's do three of these, actually, together. Here we go. Bad leg forward, good leg back, hands back. Skip, freeze. Shrugged, turtle back on, knees bent. One, do it again. Hands back, 
Bad leg forward, good leg back, hands back. Skip. Whoop. Turtle back on, shrugged, knees bent. Yeah, good strong leg, right? Last one. Bad leg forward, good leg back, hands back. Here we go. Skip. Whoop. Excellent. OK, so why are we making all these weird shapes? Check it out. Our goal is to athletically bring our hands to the ground as quickly as we can, yeah? And be able to push off of that back leg, OK? That back leg is what's going to give us a lot of turnover and snap, all right? So when we go to put our hands down, we want to make sure that this back leg is bent so it can really go off of the ground. In order to do that, I want to have a turtle back on so I can get my hands down on the ground a little bit faster and have both legs bent so I can really push off of them for lots of energy. OK? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a cartwheel but with this weird skippy thing, which we call the flying turtle. Remember? OK, so I'm going to go flying turtle cartwheel. Now, I, right now I don't care about the cartwheel. In fact, I'll do the cartwheel kind of off screen. Because what I want you to focus on is your flying turtle shape. Are you making it? Be honest with yourself. OK, let's try it. Good leg back, bad leg forward, hands back. Good leg back, bad leg forward, hands back. Flying turtle, cartwheel. Ready? Cartwheel. Okay, let's do it again. Ready? Good leg, or bad leg forward, good leg back, hands back. Flying turtle, cartwheel. Flying turtle, cartwheel. Two for two. Let's do it again. OK? Here we go. Bad leg forward, good leg back, hands back. Flying turtle, cartwheel. Ready? Go. Do you see my shape? I'm going to do it really slow this time, because I want you to see that flying turtle weird shape before my hands go on the ground. OK? Here it is. Bad leg forward, good leg back, hands back. Monkey facing forward, not sideways. Forward. OK, hands back. I'm going to go really slow. Did I fool you? Did you actually think that I was in slow motion? No? That's OK. But did you see the shape? Let me do it faster. Let's see if you can do it. Ready? Just watch it. Find the shape. Bad leg forward, good leg back, hands back. Monkey forward. Shape. Boom. OK. Now I'm going to do a round off. And I want you to watch how hard I push off of my feet to get my legs around my head. OK? That's the whole point of this. Here we go. You ready? Shape, push, whoa! Whoa, I really flew. Yeah, that's what happens. When you're really pushing off your legs, you're going to turn your feet over and you're going to go, ah, you're going to fly off. That's the best. The more, the better. OK, that was our hurdles for the day. Let's do our game. We got to do some, wait. I feel like that was a super solid skill. So I got to make sure I give myself a badge. I got my skill badge today. It's a star. A star, just for me. Beautiful stars, right there. Nestled lovely. I didn't like how it was, so I had to take it off and put it back on. Right in between my muscle badges, right in between my strength badges. Super cool, right? OK, we did our hurdle. And we did a bunch of cartwheels. And we're, we got to make sure we play a game. OK. So much to do. All right. So 
for our game today, we're going to do three kinds of cartwheel. We're going to do a butterfly, which is like a horizontal cartwheel. We're going to do a cartwheel cartwheel, which is a rainbow. And then we're going to do our round off to our knees. Remember this from last week? We did a snap down to our knees, trying to keep our turtle back on and round. You remember. If you don't remember, go check out the YouTube page for home nastics and look up the round off day. It's awesome. Of course it's awesome. All home nastics is awesome. OK. Um, we don't need this. Um, you should keep yours out, but I've got a smaller space than you do. So I need all the room I can get. I need my books. So get your books out. I'm going to set my books like this. Right there, one, two, three, four. Now like that, yeah, and like that. All right. Then I'm going to get an ottoman or, or something, an obstacle that I can put my hands on. OK? Ah, then I need my chairs. Remember the chairs? OK. I'm going to take them over here. Yeah? OK. Then I need my masking tape. Where'd that go? There it is. If I'm going too fast for you, that's OK. You can do it with me right now, but you can also go back and watch this a little bit later. It's going to be all over the place. It's called the internet. Whatever goes on the internet stays on the internet, right? It'll be on Facebook. It'll be on YouTube. So keep up with me if you can, which you probably can because this masking tape, not my friend right now. This is super not my friend. OK. Come on, friend. I know, I know. I just hurt your feelings, and I'm sorry for that. OK. Let's try this again. Masking tape, masking tape. Thank you, thank you, thank you. OK. I'm going to take a mask, the masking tape, and I'm going to draw a nice straight line between my chairs. Yep, yep, yep. Just like that. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. OK. Cool. Yep. All right, so I got my books, my ottoman, my chairs, my masking tape. OK. Now, let's do two more books. Like that. All right. And now what I need is remember from last week the stack of cushions that kept my knees from bonking the ground on that round off. Let's do this one right there. And let's do this one on top of it, like that. OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my butterfly here, butterfly. Then I'm going to do my cartwheel here. Let's start with the butterfly. My feet start on the books. OK, so I got my feet on the books. And you see the books on the other side? I can only put one foot on each book. So it looks like this. Butterfly, one foot, two feet. Kind of cool, right? Watch it again. One foot on the book, the other foot on the book. Butterfly, whoop, one, two. Whoa. Now I got to do a cartwheel on the line between my chairs. Yeah? Uh, let's see if I can do a lever cartwheel. I might have to do a gingerbread cartwheel. We'll see. It's kind of small. Whoa! Whoa! Pretty good. Then I got two books over here. We're going to do some uh, flying turtle squats. Okay? So I go squat, lunge, lunge. I said squat, but I meant lunge. Now I got to finish up with my round off onto my couch cushions. So I'm going to do flying turtle. Hands down, finish kneeling uh, turtle back like this. Ooh, this is really nice. That's way softer than I thought it would be. Kind of excited about that. So it kind of looks like this. Bad leg forward, good leg back, hands back. 
flying turtle, round off on my knees. Okay, check it out. We've got an entire obstacle course full of different cartwheels. We've got the butterfly, a cartwheel, and a round off trainer at the end. <gasps> Isn't that awesome? I'm gonna go through it once, but if you can think about how to build a game where you do cartwheels this way and that way and this way and that way, you should totally do it. Let's play this one. Ready? One foot on each book. Butterfly, here we go. And on the books. One foot, other foot. I did it. Next exercise. I'm going to do a gingerbread cartwheel this time. Don't bonk the chairs. Here we go. Uh, uh, oh. Two for two. Let's go to our lunge walks. Turtle back shrugged. Lunge walk. Turtle back shrugged. Lunge walk. Excellent. All right, here's our last one. Bad foot forward. Good foot back. Hands back. Flying turtle. Kneeling turtle. Go. I did it. All three of my exercises in a row without falling off. That's pretty good, right? Butterflies, cartwheels, round off trainers. Amazing. Build your own obstacle course with as many cartwheel exercises as you can think of and smash it all together and see if you, see if you can do it from start to finish. Just like this. Woo! I love cartwheel day. I love round off day. I love every day that's a gymnastics day. All right. Down to business. Tomorrow is beam day. Not only is it beam day, but it's giveaway day. Ah! Giveaway day. Tomorrow, we're going to give away a beam. Oh my goodness. Amazing. So come visit us tomorrow. Same time, same channel. There's going to be more awesome home gymnastics. It's beam day. So bring your beam, set it up beforehand, or get yourself some tape or something to put on the ground so you can still play with us tomorrow. Okay? Make sure that you're sharing this with a friend. You're just in the habit. Because when you come tomorrow, in order to answer the giveaway, you're going to share this with a friend and you're going to answer the question of the day. Oh, don't miss it. All right, friends. I'm Coach Tony. I'm with Ninja Monkey Jim. Today has been an absolute pleasure. I love cartwheel and round off gym, uh, day. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, at Ninja Monkey Jim. As always, we're brought to you in lovely LaGrange, Illinois, from Gemini Gymnastics Academy, where it's snowing. Unacceptable. What is acceptable is tumble track and how much we love them. Our goal is to bring you safe, fun, engaging, active content. Make sure that you're commenting on this. Make sure you're talking to us. Tell us about some of the things that you want to see. We love doing these. We're going to keep doing them. Please, everybody, stay safe, stay strong, stay home. We love you. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye, friends.